Leaving Sligo a long time ago brought me all away from his home. He heard there was work or in England to the Dublin docks he did roam. And the honey had bowls, there were others like him from Leitrim and Kerry and down, sons and daughters from all over Ireland, bound for London town. He ran to the city in search of the start or maybe a room for the night. In his left hand, a suitcase of leather and wood, and his grandfather's fiddle in his right. Through the streets of the bombed out buildings, past the rubble that Hitler blew down, a straightaway child from the west of Ireland. Alone in London town, he signed on with a ganger from Dublin, the cruelest little tyrant that ever you met. Had him sweating in trenches for 12 hours a day. It was hard work, but all he could get. He'd take out his fiddle when the work was all done. When the shovels and picks were laid down, a tune for the broad-backed sons of Ireland. Come to rebuild the London town. It was seven day weeks with nearly a break. Sligo was left far behind. Till one of the boys says, pick yourself up, come down the road for a pint. When he opened the door, he all thought he was home. Oh, what a glorious sound. Sons and daughters from all over Ireland, playing music in London town. There was marching burners from Galway, McCarthy and Casey from Clare. <laughs> McGlinchy, the Roger, Roland and Farrell, seemed half of all Ireland was there. <laughs> they bid him take out his fiddle, and they played till the lights went down, raised at last to the 33rd county, right here in London town. Now many's a, many's a, <laughs> now many's a year has passed and gone, but it seems just a fortnight ago, those sessions in the White Heart and the Favourite, full of Broadway and Holloway Road. It's the music that carried his heart and his soul. It's the same way the whole world round, whether you're living in New York or Donegal or here in London town. It's the music that carries your heart and your soul. It's the same the whole world round. Whether you're living in New York or Donegal or here in London town, again. Yeah. <laughs> 